Selamat buhay. I'm Mav and this is XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I played this game several times already but I've never made it to the mid or late game. To be specific, I've completed until the part where we save the captured hero and one of the nightmarish black side. So, I will be playing it blind from that point on. I will also focus more on the storytelling and role playing part as much as I can in this campaign. And it's a good excuse for the cheesy mod and game settings that we'll see later. <laughs> Before we start, let's quickly go through the settings. And by settings, I mean the mods. Yes, this is a mod game. I have 143 mods currently active, but they are mostly aesthetic, fixes, or quality of life mods. I left most, mo most of their uh, settings in their defaults, um, except for um, three mods. Um, first, the squad size. I prefer to play with at least six soldiers. I know this is in some way cheesy, uh, but trust me, even uh, with this, this game will not be as easy as you may think, um, especially in the mid and late game, at least for me. Second, the starting staff. I prefer to, to have three engineers and three scientists on the get-go. Um, the idea behind this is that in the years that our ragtag team has operated, it doesn't make much sense to me that Shen and Taigan are the only people maintaining our alien-made mobile base. I also modified the ini file for one of the mod, um, Extract Corpses. Yeah? I added more full-ton charges so we can extract more bodies out of the field. And I added more entries to the carryable character groups um, to allow us to carry more types of advent units. Okay, um, my mod list will be in the description for reference. Um, now for the character pool. I'm using the developers and Lark Spool. Um, link to Lark Spool will be in the description. Okay, um, let's move on. Game. Game difficulty. Uh, my initial plan was to play on Legend Iron Man, um, like my previous um, failed campaigns. Uh, but since we're focusing on the story of the game, I decided to go through the tutorial um, as uh, I believe it has some story elements that I think are important to the story. Um, it sort of sets the correct narrative and um, choosing legend will deny us that opportunity. Um, so for this uh, playthrough, uh, let's set, set the difficulty down a notch to commander. Okay, then tutorial. And since we are not playing Iron Man, um, the temptation to save and reload is great. So I will be playing an honest playthrough where I will not uh, be reloading previous saved games when things get rough. And I know things will get rough. Um, I'll accept the deaths and failed missions as they come and live with the consequences of my terrible tactical decisions. We will also reduce the beginner VO as uh, they tend to get annoying over time. For the advanced options, um, let's select um, not created equal. Oh, yeah. uh, this, uh, this is great because um, it will allow us to have uh, diverse soldiers. Um, the randomized stats uh, will give them uh, we give give our soldiers character and make them somewhat uh, unique. Uh, we'll also activate time turner and lengthy scheme. 
Um, uh, I know uh, this will make uh, the game a bit easier, um, especially for the veterans. But I'm still a noob and this will give us some edge and maybe, uh, just maybe help us beat the game. <laughs> okay. okay. Next. Um, we'll leave this as is. So, uh, with all this in place, um, let's start the game and chronicle a story in the pages of the archives. Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider. This is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report! So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent Administration reminds you to record all suspicious activity. Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. 
prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. for sure and we'll lose our advantage. They may have the numbers, but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. Take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Do it. right now. Be careful. Crash 
Two is down. She's gone. Damn it. You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. Okay. Nice work. That's the advantage before they get around you. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. I'm on it. Keep your eyes peeled. Fire on anything that moves. Main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. Venice 3, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. Better move fast. Though. I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self-destruct. Protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close.
had just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. The cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it.
response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still, can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. And we're back. Functional at least. After 20 years in the alien captivity. Commander, to the research labs. Let's check the archive later. Um, it's a good time to stretch our legs and look around our base. Good boy Bradford just dumped a lot of stuff on us. We'll figure things out as we go. First up, the research lab. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. Okay, uh, good thing we don't have that thing in our head anymore. Anyway, not much choice here, so let's go with Tigan and put our scientists to work with alien biotech research. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. Copy that, Bradford. Commander, to the armory. Let's see our armory then. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. Hello, Jane. I believe thank you and congratulations are in order. We shall be promoted to Psionic. Congratulations and thank you. We're off to a good start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. Okay, where to next? Commander, to the bridge. Okay, let's go. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention, unauthorized presence detected. Commander, give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more... ceremonious. But we've got something. 
A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. A squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. And here are our volunteers. I already feel sorry for you guys, but don't worry, we will take every precaution not to mess up our first mission together. First, let's give Initiate Kelly more firepower. We have Matine, Stokes Lama, Untouchable, Liberator, and Details. Hmm, let's see what we can give Stokes from the armor. Uh, nope, nada. Okay, so I guess this is it. Our first mission. Good luck to us.